Hey guys, this is Sora with Chachi from InsertCoinToBegin.com. And we're here checking out the Pennsylvania Coin Operated Gaming Hall of Fame and Museum. Let's go inside. So it's your VIP party. How's it going? It's been great. We've had probably about 175 people come through the door nice. today. We had um, a couple uh, rock stars come in and play. We had Billy Morris from Warrant and Tough and Quiet Riot play today. Ron Keel from um, the band Keel came in and played today. And let's be honest, the games are what sell it and the games are what people seem to be loving. And I can't explain what's in here. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter how hard I try to, I can't really explain it. Everybody came up to me today and they walked in and they're like, I had no idea it was going to be like this. I had no idea it was going to be this big or this many. And it's entertaining, it's fun, and once you get past the awe of, wow, what is, where am I going to even start, then you, you kind of settle in and find a good spot to be in. I saw some pretty crazy ones in there. Fire Rescue was yeah. interesting. Yeah, isn't that something? We've been addicted to the Dozer game. Well, and it's because you don't ever see those. No. I mean, those are, especially Fire Chief, I mean, it's from the 60s. It uses real water. So, so what did you dig today? What kind of really surprised you? The old pinball games were fun. Ones that you could actually roll over to the store. And then there's a lot of original arcade machines in there. An original Tapper sponsored by Budweiser, not Root Beer Tapper. Fire Truck Game, which we both played <laughs> yes. uh, nominally well. Yeah. Pennsylvania Coin Opera Gaming Hall of Fame and Museum. They're at coinophof.com. And Twitter. And you can check them out on Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, a lot of great stuff. Check out our stuff. Go to coin to begin.com. I'm at Sorgatron. At Chachi Says. And we'll see you guys at the arcades.